Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks. In today we are going to play a 2v2 match, multiplayer this time in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06 and once again on the legendary map Anorian from random we get to play the Gondor faction. And yeah, once again Gondor just like the last time, but I cannot complain about that because I like the Gondor faction a lot. Last time we were actually getting some combos on the field, but in this game I'm going for a stable for a strong Gondor knight. In your base, always start with a blacksmith and a farm. Very important. Why? Because we need to get the blacksmith passively to level 2. Since this is the only way we can get our upgrades purchased later on. And of course, every single game in 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, you always want to recruit the Hobbit Peregrine Took. So first of all, let's buy the settlement. We will use the Hobbit for the second settlement. And let's wall check bottom side. It's a good faction. Top is Stay evil. Together. So we can also let our ally know that bottom is good and top is evil. Okay, so again, very important. At the beginning of the game, you want to pressure the evil faction person. Very important because evil gets much more money over time from the Lammer Mills in compared to the Gondor or Rohan from the farms. And evil factions generally scaling quite hard into the mid to lead game. And in order to deny that from happening, we need to try our best to hurt this economy. Okay. We are against Isengard. And, and Rohan. That means we can actually pick up the Elven Wood, because they can't cover that. Elven Wood will nullify enemy leadership bonuses from the War Chant. And he cannot fight, a, fight us here, because Elven Wood also uh, will boost our armor by 40%. Which again, it's a 2v1 situation, so he has no chance of fighting us here. This mid is gonna be definitely taken down. Let's use Shield Bolt to make them tankier. And we can now bring the Hobbit to the top right spot and cloak him there. And that's gonna give us the chance to not only deny him from capturing, recapturing this mill later on, but also we can then move on to the second mill with our Gundo soldiers. So now we basically have to save for 800, which is the money we need to build the stable for the Gondonites. Soldiers! Great. Tell me again why I came. So now oh, Hobbit Peregrine took. Let's go. By the way, he also didn't the use Warchan yet. And he's Where starting with the Uruk pit. Oh, that's bad for him. Why? Because he lost one of the mills. And uh, getting oh, Uruk pit and losing one mill is like the we very bad combination them. because he will not have any money oh, anytime soon. Hold on, we need to cloak our Hobbit. We can fight this. To be one situation. Oh, never mind. We go back now. We go back to the Elven Wood because we can't fi fight this. Even though it's a 2v1 situation, but Warchand is boosting his damage and armor by 50% each. Hobbit was able to get invisible. We were cash looting a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Now the stable is coming up for the Gondor Knight. I'm assuming because he actually uh, went for the Uruk Pit that he will get the counter units very soon. Looks like he doesn't want to fight us on the land, which makes sense. We have also Hobbit here. So he would just feed us with additional power points and experience points. That's why he's backing up. But I'm down. I'm fine with that because he has now only one single mill outside. And he has like two furnaces and one Uruk pit. That's not enough. And our Gondonites are going to be on the field way before he will be able to recruit some pikemen. Hobbit. Oh my goodness. Actually, he has lots of units. Here, by the way, he can also commit on us. Like, what you want to do is Isengard in this kind of situations is surround the soldiers. And this way you can outnumber them and take them out. But you don't want to send your Uruks one by one. So the Gondonite is almost out or we just clicked him. With also the Hobbit from our ally. And I believe our ally was not able to deal any kind of economical damage. He was also using the Elven Wood on the middle of the map. Which is okay because in this matchup, as double Gondor, you can abuse the land advantage. Since Rohan and Isengard, Isengard will need three and Rohan will need two power points in order to be able to cover our Elven Wood with their own Elven Wood or Tainted Land. So Hobbit fights. I'm, I'm down. The micro from the opening though. But it's a 2v1 situation, my friend. <laughs> two Peregrine Tooks against one Meriadoc Brandybok. Who might win this one? It's and run, hit and run. Is, you know, trying to destroy the farm, but it's okay. We got the food bonus, which is making our Gondor Knights a bit cheaper. We can get now one more from the stable. Oh, it! Oh, it! No way! Peregrine took, my friend. You're full of a took. 
We need to build a well, and then we gotta build some more blacksmiths for a steel bonus. This is gonna make our upgrades later on a bit cheaper. The farm is gonna be taken down, but it's okay. We got actually to buy two Gondonites for the cheaper. Since the more farms you have, up to maximum amount of six, the more food bonus you will get, which again is a discount on your cavalry units. In this case, in our case, Gondor Knights. Forward. Right, we gotta be careful. He has Eome on the field. I'm assuming Forward. he will try to get Eome to level 4 Ready for the Horse Lord's Ready leadership, which is okay. Knights. In this matchup, Rohan and Isengard, they will have always way more uh, leadership than we do. The troll is actually chasing our soldiers, but that's good. We can, in the meantime, creep the troll there. And also the Vorklea. Because I'm actually planning to go for the Elven allies in this one. We will get three Gondor Knights on the field. Uh, get the shields from the stable level 2. Which is going to make our Gondor Knights a bit tankier against arrows. But hold on. Um, and this way we can keep rushing the Isengard base all the time. And since he will eventually have many, many pikemen on the field to counter our Gondor Knights, we also will need the Alvin Elias summon to counter his pikemen. So rock, paper, scissors, you know? Yes, pikemen, we need to get swordmen or archers to counter that. So let's dance around the Rosie. Gondor Tita is the only Citadel in the game which can also shoot. Which makes the creeping of the troll a bit easier. And of course, getting the troll is going to give us also more power points. Very important. Now we will have around one power point collected, which we can or we, which we could use for the heal. But let's not go for it because we don't need to pick heal when you have the Alvin Wood. You can just save for a tree and go for the Alvin Alliance instantly. So Forge Blades and Night Shield upgrade. That's the combination we are looking for. But we need to be kind of fast because this matchup in this matchup we will get outskilled pretty hard. Like Isengard, Rohan combination, pretty strong, especially against double Gondor. That's why we will need to use our early game very effectively. But the mill has no protection, which means we can take it down in no time. But I'm assuming he will have some pikemen on the field very, very soon. We have no heal from the spell book, so we gotta be careful. And again, guys, in BFME 1, it's quality over quantity. And but oh, that also means on the other side, losing one of your Gondor Knights is gonna put you really behind. That means keeping those Gondor Knights alive is our priority in this game. Hopefully, all game long. Oh, we can go for a the trample there. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be juicy. Oh, Warchan, we have no armor. Pe 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 pe. He has also Lords on the field. Oof. We might need heal, but I'm trying to run away. When you trample them down, you will get slowed down. Can we get away? Yes, we can get away. Very nice. Okay, now we gotta go for the shields. Don't take too much damage. He's still war chanting, but it's okay. Because now we know the war chant is gonna be on cooldown for the next fight. I might actually go for the heal from the spell book. Because I don't want to waste time again. Time management is very important in those RTS games. You want to punish your opponent for uh, like the cooldown window, you know? Let's go for the heal. Rally together, and then we can just wait for the shields now from the stable level 2. It's almost purchased. And then we will be buying also Forge Blades on our Gondor Knights and try to deal some economical damage inside the space. Ideally, and that would be like the dream situation, we should be trying to take down his Uruk Pit. That's why uh, this way he won't be able to get any counter units on the field. Our ally was also able to creep the trolley at the bottom side. Now shields are incoming. We will have three Gondor Knights. The shields are a crazy amount of boost of durability against arrows. Which of course is also applying on the enemy crossbowman. But he has now pikemen. Oh my goodness. Let's hope that he has only one single pikeman. Let's try to go inside the base and destroy the Uruk pit. Use the mobility advantage we have. He has now the second pikeman, third pikeman. Right well, this guy actually right knows out. our strategy. Let's go. Which kind of makes sense because my ally Together. also went for the Gondor Knights. Let's go for a trample. Oh my goodness. Right <laughs> the right power points are rising to the sky. Let's right try to deal some damage. Together. And we can actually commit now on the Uruk Pit. Let's surround it. Mil is going down. We can also use heal. Let's use heal, heal actually. To heal him up. Mil has been taken down. Let's send him back. Again, losing the Gondor Knights is going to hurt us pretty badly and that's very good for us because keep in mind that the Uruk pit is the most valuable uh, structure inside the Isengard base at any point of the game and in order to be able to recruit pikemen from Isengard you need to get your Uruk pit to level 2 first and again we are playing oh my goodness uh peel back oh we almost lost the full gun and again uh, very important that you understand that we are not in BFME 2 
in BFME yeah, 1, you need to passively level it up. So you need to recruit first of all yeah, Urukai or Crossbow Man to yeah. level it up, you know, to level 2. You cannot buy yourself the upgrade to level 2. That's not possible. That again will slow him down big time. And that's going to give us a huge and long window in which, you can, which we can punish him. And we are also half a power point away only from, oh, my ally. Oh, that's a bad thing, dude. Like... Going for the middle camp when you have no sort of protection no, might no, actually no, end no, pretty no, bad because no, that's no, a huge no, investment no, of 2,000 plus resources, you know? And, and right now, now the no, Rohan Eisenberg no, team, no, they, no, they no, could no, just no, come no, in on that with like no, two pikemen no, loot no, and like a couple of Rohirrim and we have no chance of defending this. That's bad. But luckily for us, we will have three Gondor Knights on the field now with full knights, upgrades. They are almost level 2 every single one of them actually. They have also shields, heavy armor and forge blades. But we are broke and yeah, that's the problem, you know? Knights. Because uh, Knights have they have Warchant, they have Lourdes, Together. and they have a bunch of pikemen with Rohirrim right. and Elmir. So, if he wants to, and my ally doesn't even have like full upgrades yet on his Gunner Knight, so go. we gotta defend go. him. But you know what we need? We will need to kind of destroy some buildings from Isengard to get the Elven allies unlocked. Because I'm assuming that's the only way we can actually defend the middle camp now against the pikemen and Lourdes. Because we have nothing that can deal with the pikemen yet. We need to fight them in a, in a melee range. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Now we can fight them. That's the only way you can fight as horses against pikemen in battle for middle of one. Oh, he's using carnage. We gotta peel back. Heal from our allies incoming. We have now also the statue up on the field, which, by the way, is boosting the damage from our Gundam Knights by 100%. But Lords, holy guacamole, is like a track. We have three power points collected. Let's go for the Alvin Allies now. No, 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 no. And we gotta use it now. We gotta use it now. We need to kind of target his or hit him only. That's the only way, because otherwise... Oh, he's also using heal. Oof, kill back with the Gundam Knights, don't lose them. Let's kill the Rohirrim, they have no armor. He can actually burst them down. Very good. Lost the full battalion. But our Gundam Knights are badly damaged. We need to bring this one and put the other ones to the heal, to the well in our base. Now we gotta just try to kill some Rohirrim, I guess. That's all we can do. Luckily for us, the Rohan player is no Tyrion. If he would have Tyrion around this side, uh, would be even worse. Because he would provide uh, the Rohirrim with additional 50% damage and armor. Leadership, let's use the swords. If you use swords, the elves, they will become immune to trample. And not only that, but also, hold on. Oh my goodness. Back, 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 back. Let's go. Oh my, okay, okay, nice, nice. We got back. Lourdes is still healthy. Uh, but looks like we will be <laughs> able to keep the middle camp protected. But I'm assuming our ally lost literally everything there. Lost all the Gundam Knights. He lost a lot of money because he was kind of forced to rebuild everything multiple times. And again, that's why it's very important. Don't conquer anything which you can't protect, you know? Gotta put on the swords to make them immune versus trample. And to deny the Rohan player to get experience on his uh, horse heroes like Elmi and Theorin. The worst thing that can happen to us is literally if this Theorin gets level 4 for the Glorious Charge. We have no counterplay to that. Now we gotta put pressure. Rush, 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 rush. We can also fight them on the Elvin Wood, especially with our level 5 Gondor Knight with full upgrades. Especially when he has no upgrades for himself. He's now Uruk Pit again, level 2. Trample. Have your but we can't ready. do much. Let's try to kill his pikemen with our elven arches. They have not much time left in the Middle Earth anymore. I mean, pressure is very important. We don't want Isengard to scale. So now let's look for his armory, maybe. Let's use heal. I would love to kill his armory, guys. That's gonna slow him down big time. Otherwise, I'm afraid, but we won't be able to keep the middle camp protected. Rally together, knights. Riders. Ride, knights, round and burst. Batch formation. Rain down upon them. Oh, nice, Ride nice. That's massive. I believe he was not able to buy uh, fire arrows. I believe. I hope. Because I see he has uh, heavy armor and forge plates. Trample one more time. Micro is very important. They are doing actually good with the Gondor Knights. They are all high leveled now. And we were able to keep them all protected for now. Never peel back fully, always keep up the pressure, deal some economical damage, and go for Gandalf the Grey. If the power points to turn him into the Gandalf the Land. And this only is possible because we were able to keep our Gondor Knights protected all the time. And we also were gonna leave one of the Gondor Knights in the middle camp, just for the worst case scenario that Rohan might try. Let's use Elvin Wood there. I'm assuming he's ready for the, for the rush. 
Rohan is covering the Elvin Wood. Our ally hopefully has his own Elvin Wood ready. He has even shields now with Elmi and Theodin. Oh my goodness, man. War chant. They are shining bright like a diamond. Oh, our ally has actually the Elvin Wood. That's good. Now he has no leadership but outside. And inside we have also sustain from the well and statue leadership. Don't, under don't underestimate that. Statue doesn't... Oh, he has even tainted land. But we have Gandalf coming. Gandalf, come on now. A wizard is never lead, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Inside we are also strong, because we have the well from behind, which will give us sustain all the time. And especially the statue for a double damage boost, 100% damage boost, you know? But before Gondor Knights, close the gates, because I'm afraid that this guy might might actually gate rush us, which we have no no nothing to uh, defend us, you know, inside our castle. I want to build the marketplace. You know, I don't want to go for the for the trebuchet tre for the trebuchet yet. I want to build the marketplace to make sure that we have always great amount of resource income because we don't need to recruit any more units now. Like he's on the hand, we can also chase him down with our Ganza. and we can kind of beat him into fighting us on the Elven route. Oh, he has blades now. It's a different story. Oh, be careful with the. I'm not host, by the way. In this host, I'm kind of struggling quite a lot. Like, no, but nothing is listening to me. Oh, we lost a lot of the Gunner Knights. Now we're gonna peel back. We need to play around the cooldown of our Elven allies. Riders, men of Gondor. Okay. Marketplace, please. Baramir, the captain of Gondor. Let's give him the chance to show his quality. We must stay together. And Alvin Elias is almost back up. Our Gandalf couldn't have too much impact on the fee on the game yet, but we were actually forcing the Rohan player to retreat. Gandalf is like a... Oh, but we will lose the farm. Ah. Let's use Easter Light. Please, I'm losing the clicks. We might lose Theoden if he has no heal. Oh, he's healing him. Okay. You see, when Theoden is a tiny bit damaged, the Easter Light, when he's level 1 only, will be able to finish him off. It almost deals 100% damage. Not not quite 100%, it's around 95%. So, shoot him a couple of times with Faramir, for example, and Easter Light him, and he's gonna be Gunners. Gandalf, of course, the most expensive hero. Because not only of the money of 6,000, but also you need to invest 2 power points from your spellbook to turn him into the Gandalf the White. It is no Orgorn! Okay. Let's kill some pikemen. Yes, lured somewhere around, uh, but I want to play a little bit risky with Gandalf because we have heal from the spellbook, which is very important. I don't want him to give up the chance to actually cripple me. You gotta just kill some pikemen left and right. Fish even some more power points. The break point is going to be the eagle summon. Okay, we can hurt this lord a little bit. I wanna actually try to... Never mind. I wanna try actually to easter light him. Maybe he's not paying attention, you know? But again, it's kinda risky. Especially now because his furnace is level 3. Oh, Rohirrim are also here. I don't want him to give the chance. I don't want to be crippled with Gandalf. Because I'm, I'm assuming we won't be able to keep him protected if this is going to be the case. I'm going ham, dude. I'm going ham. Please don't pay attention, Lord. Please don't pay attention. Lord. Oh, he's paying attention, man. Oh, no. But Easter right and Lord is dead. We are level 6. Now we are crippled for 30 seconds. We have healed. We gotta put those Gunner Knights next to, uh, next to Gandalf and block the Rohirrim this way. And body blocking is the only way we can actually handle the situation and survive with our Gandalf. The blast, war chant. Oh, he has now so much leadership. He might lose a lot of Gondor Knights, but I would rather lose Gondor Knights than my Gandalf. Please, please. Let's use heal. Uh, maybe it was too... Okay, let's kill back. Pe go back, 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 back. Nice, nice. Actually, that's massive, dude. We just killed this Lord. Uh, we were able to keep Gandalf protected. And we were also baiting the war chant, so it's like a win-win situation. I believe we lost, we lost like two Gondor Knights, though. We have only two now left on the field. Uh, so not the best trade in the world, but it's okay. So losing Gandalf would not be okay, because Gandalf... Oh, my ally lost one of the Gondor Knights. Um, because Gandalf is a hero you would not like to trade with anybody, anything, you know, in the entire game. Like, there is no trade in which it's okay to lose your Gandalf. So never go even, because it's not even when you lose Gandalf for killing anything else. Maybe if it's okay when you kill Balrog or something, you know? Because then it's about losing or winning the game. But other than that, it's not worth it. Osnan Gate. We need to get some more Gondor Knights on the field. Um, now he has no lords. Now we can put pressure on him. Gandalf the White. 
Hopefully, we will get our Gandalf. Boom, my son. Hopefully, we will get our Gandalf to level 10 this game. Would be awesome, am I right? For the War of Power. But this Isengard is actually kind of annoying because he's recruiting nothing but pikemen, which are, of course, the biggest counter to our Gunner Knights. And Rohan is also getting stronger and stronger. I believe he has Eomir leadership. We must stay together. Peel back. Oh, we gotta peel back. The Furnace is level 3, dude. They are so extremely tanky, boys. They have 6,500 HP. Our ally is moving on with the Trebuchet, which is definitely a mistake. We have nothing to protect them. Because, again, in this matchup, especially when you both go for the Gunner Knight, then you have not really a great amount of protection for your Trebuchet, you know? Unless you have double Gandalf, then you might make something happen, but. Other than that, I think it's kind of kind of mistake if you go for the trebuchet without protection, and the protection would be definitely tower guards. Like my ally now with the camp and full base of farms inside his castle should be getting some trebuchet uh, tower guards. Sorry, but it's okay. As long as we can defend the middle camp, we are in a good spot. And the only way we can do that is by putting permanent pressure on the Isengard player. And deny him from getting ready, you know, because he has Lord's leadership now. And that's not it, of course. He has also Warchant. Let's go for it. I'm gonna show you guys Easter Light. Watch, watch, watch. When they are going inside like this, look how much we will be able to kill. Boom, son. Do you see that? Because they are going through a tiny place like the Postan Gate. And they will be clumped. And Easter Light is able to hit multiple units at the very same time. That's why we, must stay we are dealing great amount of damage there to the Rohan yeah, player, which is amazing. There are also two power points only away from getting the Eagles unlocked. And I believe the, uh, the Isengard player has nothing to deal with the Eagles yet. So ideally, we will unlock the Eagle summon, use the Eagles to kill Lords, and then we will have the time we need to do whatever we, wa we want. But for now, I gotta be honest, the, evil, uh, the, the opening team, they do a great job defending themselves. Because my ally is kind of building up a huge trebuchet army. But we gotta move on together now. Very soon, if you want to be able to win this. Maybe we will even need to, tra need to transition into something that can shoot, you know. To kill those pikemen. Let's go for the iron ore and all the upgrades from the market, please. To get even more money. Yeah, I mean... Lourdes should be on the field very, very soon. And losing Gandalf is no go. Almost level 8, though. Level 10 is a massive power spike, and my ally is now moving out. So that means Rohan will be forced to defend himself. And maybe we can actually use the time to pressure the Isengard player. Because I also believe that Isengard now will need to send some help to his ally. Put pressure on him. The worst possible part you want to focus on is the corner of the, of the wall. But it's okay. We have Elven allies. I mean, now we can try to make something happen. He has now even Rohirrim archers on the field with fire arrow. Oh, that's a different story. He has even Aragorn. This guy is popping off now. Like, he has the max leadership with Elmia, Aragorn, and Theorin, and Rohirrim archers. And if you don't know, Rohirrim archers are a great counter to the heroes. So, long story short. He's using T to land. I, I, I won't cover this one, though. I won't cover this one. I might actually put one of the... There we go. In front of his piece. Just put it there. There we go. Nice. My ally is moving out. Uh, he's getting too close to the wall. That's not needed. Let's summon the elves and try to fish some power points. Try to get the eagles unlocked, shall we? Maybe we can destroy the Uruk pit again. Would be awesome. Just surround it. To maximize the DPS. And we have a level 10 Gondor Knight who will deal crazy amount of damage. Okay. Nice. We did it, boys. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, Faramia! Oh, Aragorn, of course. Boromir, please go back to the, to the camp. Oh, my goodness, man. My ally actually kind of lost everything there, right? Yeah, he lost all the trebuchet and everything else. And Boromir! Boromir! I don't want to heal him, though, because I want to keep heal for Gandalf, you know? And, yeah, Boromir, sorry, my friend. But just like in the films, we are going down this time. And now Rohan can commit. We gotta peel back now. We gotta come back now. And let's use Easter Light on Aragorn, maybe. I don't even see his Anduril Sword. Does he have Anduril Sword? He has Blade Master now. And he has Anduril Sword or Blade Master. We won't be able to burst him, but we can actually hurt him a lot. Nice. 
So now we can go for a Zaplast. That's a bad commitment from Rohan. Oh, we have so much leadership here. He's gonna lose a lot. Beautiful. We killed the highly leveled Rohirrim. Lightning Sword. Oh, it's too slow. We, we're gonna miss it. Oh. Elmir was able to get away, but Aragorn is not that lucky. Can we get experience from killing Aragorn with Gandalf? Would be awesome, dude. Aragorn would... Uh, Gandalf would almost be level 9. Uh, no, we did get no experience. But we have the Eagle Summon now. Let's go for the market uh, for the Siege Wargs. We buy Faramir and also Boromir. And now we can actually make something happen. Let's pick the Eagles from the Spellbook and let's rush the Isengard base, shall we? And again, the second we see Lourdes, we will be summoning the Eagles to focus down Lourdes. The Eagles are dealing crazy amounts of damage to Lourdes or to any other hero. Go back to the Shadow. But he has so many pikemen, man. That's so annoying, you know? Like, look how many pikemen he has outside. Die, Lords. There is no way he can survive that. There is no way. Like, the amount of damage the Eagles are dealing to heroes is kind of insane. You see that? Like, one Eagle has to attack twice, and one Eagle has to attack one time, and he's gone. Now we gotta kill Pikeman, though, with the Eagles. But we, we are being focused on from uh, this many towers and level 3 furnaces. Oh, here's Warchant and Freezing Rain. Uh, Freezing Rain doesn't really do much against Gondor, because Gondor is a faction that doesn't rely too much on... Actually, look how many Gondor Knights he killed. Gondor is a faction that doesn't rely too much on uh, leadership. I mean, the only leadership we actually have is from Gandalf, which is also not the craziest leadership in the in the entire universe, you know? Oh my goodness, we will potentially lose many Gondor Knights here. But, oh, he's coming also with Rohan now. But, but, oh, we have also Gandalf from my or ally, very good, okay. Uh, but uh, we killed Lourdes, you know. That's gonna give us the chance to make something happen. Hey, Gandalf! Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, he killed Gandalf, man, from our ally. Oof. Can we make something happen? Go for it, Zaplas, maybe. Come on, Gandalf. Boom, son. Nice. <laughs> My Gandalf is popping up, boys. Level almost 9. There we go. And can we kill him? He's Aemir, though. That's not Tyrion. He's level 9. Rank 9. That's why. Oh, this Aemir is actually quite highly leveled. I was not expecting that he would... That would that, I can't even talk. That he would survive that. Our ally is making a mistake with the trebuchet. Very... You know. Again, it's a big investment of like almost a thousand resources when you get a trebuchet and firestone on them. When you lose them like that, it hurts. You don't want to send them randomly out, you know? And we are only six power points away from the army of the dead, which of course is the game winning point, but holy moly, this game is kind of tough. Especially because this Isengard is just getting like only pikemen, you know? And that's a nightmare for me to deal with that. I believe Lourdes is now on the field, right? Right? I want to just play risky now because I want to get level 10 Gandalf, you know? And just ride into his army and use War of Power. That's what I want to do. Oh, yes, Lourdes, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try to go for a, for a sneak Easter on Lourdes one more time. Because we are not far away from the level 10. Let's right click on him with the Easter Light. Foul creature. Oh, we were not in the range. And he crippled us. Well, that's bad. That's really bad. Now, we need to... I mean, can we survive that? We have no heal on... We have heal on cooldown. Can we... Look. I'm just... Oh, my goodness. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Please. Oh, nice. Oh, oh okay. Level 10. Level 9 Gar Aragorn, uh, Gandalf, he killed the Sitter. We lost a level 10 Gondor Knight though, and Aragorn is sitting like a truck. Okay, we have another level 10 Gan uh, Gondor Knight. Can we, can we go for a sneaky with Zaplas here? But the Rohirrim Archer gets him killed one by one. Level 10, please don't die. Please don't die. Should I use heal? I don't want to use heal, but I want to go for a Zaplas, guys. You know me, right? I don't want to go back. I want to I wanna go back inside the jeans and Zaplas them. Let's go, Gandalf. <laughs> oh, I'm going ham, boys. I, I don't want to go back, you know? I don't want to go, like... Don't try that at home, you know what I'm saying? When you are, like, this low, just don't risk it. But no risk, no fun. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, our elves, they are kind of crushing them. 
Okay, we gotta use yo, yo, Oh my goodness. Aragorn, you know, when Aragorn is in the media range, boys, Gandalf is gonna fall like it's nothing, my dude. Like, Gandalf is like a crazy DPS dealing wizard with like spells and stuff like that, but Aragorn is like uh, hitting like a truck, you know, that's what it is. All right, so now we will have also some trebuchet on the field, and it's going to be a nightmare very soon for the Isengard Rohan team when we have like 20 trebuchet walking on them. Trust me, they're one, like, it's gonna be not fun. Seven power points only, uh, three power points only, I mean, from the army of the dead. But sorry for my performance this game. I wasn't playing BFME for a long time online, at least, beside against AI for the 1v7 videos we did. So I was not. Let's go for a Easter Light. Let's try to kill this Aragorn. And if we kill him, we will get level 10. Come on now. Because he has. Oh, he has loot, but it's okay. I want to get, I want, you know, Easter Light is going to be able to kill him, right? And then we will get level 10. And then we can use Word of Power. Oh, he has heal! Oh, be careful! Gandalf, 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 Gandalf! Oh, he can't move! No! No! No way! Oh my goodness! We, yeah, that's so tilting! Like, when you use Easter Light with Gandalf, you kind of... Come on, man. We Crowd control them. yourself, you're like CC'd. But Isengard Beast is falling Come apart, but it's not victory for me when Gandalf is not alive, dude. I cannot believe that. I was I was so careful with Gandalf all the time, you know, and get him almost level 10, but CCO has been defeated. Oh man. That, that's bad, you know. He was beating with the heal there. That's so bad. GG. Oof. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry for losing Gandalf there. Yeah, he's asking for reach. Sure, why not? But it was still a fun game. We have 8 power points collected. We are only 2 power points away from getting the uh, army of the dead unlocked. And the eagle summon now would be definitely enough to get the power points unlocked. GG well played. Double Gondor against Rohan Isengard, which is definitely a tough matchup for the Double Gondor team. But I believe... And let me know in the comment section down below. I believe we were able to put some great pressure on the Isengard uh, player. It's, that's why he was never able to leave the base. He was forced to recruit many, many pikemen only. Look how many structures we were able to destroy. We destroyed 33 different structures. We lost only four. We killed a bunch of units. So I believe we were doing a good job in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.